Right. right, so and we are all I can mirroring say to is you are a Samsung S9 onto a DVD player My brother taught me a couple of going chords. through uh, me, USB, a uh, and I didn't get HDMI. Any of that. I just thought guitar was it's the called the 5G thing thought, thingamajig, and you can get it from Amazon for about forty dollars. Too difficult. And um, I'm recording on an iPhone uh, you, don't uh, 11 Pro. It doesn't really matter, but I'm sending out a. Which is another uh, hotspot, two chords, and the, that this S9 doesn't have any internet, no SIM card. It's just picking up the Wi-Fi. But it at least gets it's picking up the Wi-Fi of the um, iPhone, and um, also it's mirroring whatever it's seeing over to the DVD player. And so there's the DVD player, and let's go ahead and walk to the back to show you that the gizmo <clears throat> I'm getting USB power here and that gizmo looks like this it's called 5G Basically, it gives out uh, Wi-Fi, and you don't need to connect to any other device. You just connect to it, and then it allows your uh, Android phone to mirror or cast over to um, a screen. Um, however, I try to do it on the iPhone, and the iPhone only lets me cast over um, which, uh, like photos and videos of inside, but I can't get YouTube to cast over. This is a Honda Odyssey, an older model, doesn't have HDMI, and I have to buy this converter box. It's a great converter box, works really good. And I don't know the price, but it's probably like $25. You need USB to give it power. Then you have HDMI. Then these cables uh, are outputs going to the car, going to the armrest of the car. And then you just hit auxiliary, and then voila. Anyways, we have an aftermarket uh, DVD player and it has the HDMI uh, in a Tahoe we have and then you plug it straight in. You can also buy a USB box and plug in the HDMI and the USB box has a C connector. You connect it to your S9 and then um, you can do it in mirror mode or you can do it in like, there's this other mode, I don't know the name of it, but basically it becomes a, a, a desktop. So that little USB box you can put in a USB uh, uh, a combo where you have keyboard or mouse and then it'll become a desktop. You can literally like move it just like a, a desktop. And uh, that's another cool device. Um, anyways, this is a great device. Uh, no, sorry. This is a great device. I highly recommend it. I was able to, again, mirror my uh, Android phone and I can uh, send internet and I can pick up internet because that phone doesn't have a SIM card. So uh, this perspective is from an iPhone user who didn't completely switch over to Android but switching over to Android so he can get all his gizmos to work better and uh, it sure does. It connects and reconnects much better. There's also this feature in the uh, Samsung phone where you don't have to keep on unlocking it if it sees uh, Bluetooth signals of no devices nearby for example if my iPhone is nearby I have a Grom audio in there to connect and if it sees it, it automatically don't I don't need to uh, deal with the password that password gets annoying after a while you have kids and you're just constantly putting passwords even though it has retina scan and fingerprint scan and iris scans but the fastest is just not to deal with the password altogether all right so four minute video on how to get the kiss entertained